So that's Douglas. Um, Douglas is a puppet and he's really cool. And he loves to learn about the Bible and he loves to teach us about the Bible. And as he said, you know, love, sometimes it's a word we use a little bit too much. And we need to think about when we use this word love. Like he says, he loves cheese puffs. I love cheese puffs too. But I don't love cheese puffs the same way that I love my family. Because that would be a bit strange. So then it makes me think, should I use the word love for cheese puffs the same way that I use love for like my family? Or the same way that I love to watch football? Or the same way that I love coming to church? Or the same way that I love Jesus? See, there's lots of different kinds of love. And it's really important for us to remember to love people, to love God, and to make sure that we're displaying love in everything that we do. Remember, love, the shape of a heart. So, yeah, that's what we can remember this week, the importance of love. It kind of makes me think about our memory verse, and uh, it's Galatians 5, verse 22 and verse 23. It says this, it says, By the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit produces all kinds of fruit in our lives, and they are love, joy, peace, Patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against such things. So we need to think a little bit over the next few weeks while we continue looking at these fruits of the spirits about do we have these things displayed in our life? So love, we're going to use the sign of a heart. Love. Remember last week, uh, we had our friends from Virtual Sunday School, and they were helping us with some actions. So let's just see if we can remember them. So we've got love, which is a heart. Joy, which is waving our hands in the air, all excited. Uh, peace. Uh, and then patience was time. And then kindness was kindness. And goodness was thumbs up. And faithfulness was, was a wedding ring. Now, I just checked. I'm not wearing my wedding ring today doesn't mean I'm not faithful. It means I just forgot to put it on. But I still am faithful because the truth is I don't need something there to prove it because it's in my heart. But that's a sign. And it's good to have signs to make us remember. Then what else we got? Gentleness. Rocking a little baby to sleep. Don't rock them like that because that's not really gentle. Rock them nicely and gently. And then self-control. Making sure that we don't get angry at everything because it's not good. To just fly off the handle and lose our temper. Or not be able to have self-control when we're in difficult situations. So those are the things for us to remember this week. Should we go and do a game time? Now I've got things we can do today for our game time. But I've also got a craft. And I've been working hard today making what I like to call a love frisbee. Bidding! A love frisbee. Hello. What you'll need to make this is you'll need a paper plate. Uh, and you'll need some colouring and pens and you might need some scissors. Now, you can try like me and cut out the middle of the paper plate. You might need some supervision to do that, so please make sure you ask your mummy or daddy or a responsible adult to help you. Then some Sharpies or some colouring and pens and mine says, Jesus loves you. And then you can play Frisbee. So I'm going to see if I can get it to Minnie. Minnie, are you ready? Coming in, Minnie, coming in. Whew. Yeah! Hey, hey, coming back, hey, coming yeah. back, coming back. Oh, ours works a bit like a boomerang. Woo! Yes, got it back. Uh, Mini threw it and it kind of came back. So it's like, woo! Yes, got it again. Anyway, you guys can make one of those. Um, you can also just leave it as a big full paper plate. That might be a bit easier. Uh, then you can like decorate it in the middle. Um, you can put the memory verse in the middle. Uh, that would be cool. Um, there should be a link at the bottom of the page, somewhere on this YouTube page, where you can pick up the instructions. Um, yeah, hopefully. But I've just explained it to you. It's really easy. Get a paper plate, decorate it. You can put fruits of the spirit on it. Whatever. You can draw strawberries and apples or all the fruit of the spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Oh, 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 remember. And game time. So we're going to play a quick game. Minnie, I'm gonna need you to help me with our game this morning. Can you help me? Okay. Okay, we're playing what's called the alphabet fruit game. Ooh. So we're gonna go through the alphabet and think if we can name fruit starting with different letters of the alphabet. Yes. So let's start with A, what can we think of? Okay. Uh, no, okay does not begin with A. Uh, try an apple. Apple. 
Apple, there we go. Start simple. Apple, B. Banana. Banana. C. C. Ah, uh, vegetables allowed, no then. I think we should do vegetables and fruit, because otherwise it's really difficult. Because I was like, what fruit begins with a C? Coconuts! Coconuts. Coconuts, coconuts. D. D. Um, I think we should have thought this through. I think we should have thought this through. We could be here for a while, guys. Ten minutes later. D. 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 Ooh. Have you got one? No, I haven't. D. Uh, we come back. Should we come back for D? I think we should come back for D. Do you know what, guys? Minnie's busy cheating. She's on Google, seeing if she can find one that starts with a D. Maybe you can help us. I'll tell you what, guys, because we're going to be here forever. This week's challenge, if you can try and name a fruit or vegetable and see if you can get every single letter of the alphabet. That's why I said we'll give fruits and vegetables, because, like, I can't really think of a fruit starting with Z, but I can think of a vegetable. Zucchini. Well, that's a vegetable, that's isn't a vegetable. it? That's a vegetable. I was thinking oh, yeah. zucchini. Did you find one with D? D, uh, dates. Oh, thanks. I'll go on a date with you, Minnie. Yay. Where are we going? I don't know. On but... the 17th of May, we can go out to restaurants indoors. Yeah. Yes, yes. And we can go to play centres and temp and bowling and movies. Oh, the 17th of May. Hopefully, hopefully. I'm hoping. I'm hoping at least. But the 16th of May, we're coming back to church! We're going to be able to see you guys. Uh, so yeah, if you want to come along to church as well, uh, please book in for next week Sunday and uh, it'll be awesome to see you. Remember guys, if you don't feel confident to come back to church, that's okay too, because we're going to continue filming. But we're going to continue to be meeting with you guys at home on YouTube with our virtual Sunday school and salt cellar. So that'd be really cool as well. Um, remember, we've got to D. So we've got A, B, C, D, E, elderflower. Elderflower. Yeah, yeah, kind of. I think we're stretching it a little bit. We might need you guys to help us. Remember guys, send me a picture of you guys and your frisbee. Uh, send us a picture of your, your list of fruits and vegetables from A through to Z. If you can, that'll be awesome. If not, bring it with you next week to church and you can tell me live and we can try and play this game together. That might be cool. Um, I think that's everything for today. We've done memory verse. We've done our really, really good jokes. If you've got a joke, remember to send one to us. Uh, we've checked out Douglas talking about love. You guys are going to remember to love people. We've done a warm-up. We've had a good time this morning. Hopefully the sun is shining today. God bless you guys, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye, Minnie. Bye.